What it do, what it do, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode 36 of the Boku Cast. I'm your lovely host, Boku Satsu. And uh, here today, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Geet, King Ojo, what the heck happened to me? Boku, Boku's going to Twitch. What the fuck going on in my life? And uh, yeah, future plans for this channel. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right, so uh, first off, get out from the room. Yes. It is true. I'm heading to Twitch. I wanted to give Twitch a second chance, and uh, also one of my goals for this year is to work on my Twitch account because I've been thinking about live streaming a lot, and uh, I've been doing that a few times on YouTube. But at the same time, I want to bring it like, to a bigger platform. While I prefer more, while I prefer why I, I prefer like doing live streams on YouTube, it's just. I want to bring that energy to Twitch, and I know Twitch has a, Twitch has like a lot of TOS, but don't worry, I'm not gonna break I'm not gonna break like any of them. <laughs> so yeah, on this channel we're gonna talk just on that channel we're gonna talk about well Toku, uh, news like like uh, nerd culture basic stuff like Marvel or DC. We're gonna talk about well that you know. We'll be chilling, basically. Also, I will be doing like unboxing of my of my Toku toys on there as well. So, day for that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's gonna be happening. My Twitch account is twitch.tv twitch.tv slash well, brokusats15. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah. Yeah, go subscribe to it because we'll be we'll be cooking on that channel. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be cooking, all right. You know that's good to hear. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe to the Twitch channel. We'll be cooking like I uh, like me like for real. Boy, we we will be cooking like a lot of shit and all that and uh, well. That's gonna be helping me. <laughs> so I. <coughs> so anyway, back on from that. Uh, besides that. Besides that, uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh yeah. Uh, I thought about what I want to do in my life. <laughs> So, for everyone, for, 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 those want, for those that want to know, I I love photography. In fact, I want to make this one of my main goals to get a job as a photographer. And uh, well, oh hold on, my chair got me weird. Well, I thought about it, and I know what I have to do. So I made a list of upcoming goals that I want to achieve. That I'm going to achieve. My bad. And these goals are get my channel up to one thousand. Sorry, get my channel up to one thousand subscribers. Move to San Diego or California, one to two. Join OTV. If you don't, if you don't know what that, if you don't know what that means, that means join offline TV. That's that that one could be a fun one. <laughs> Make my photography work into my job. Save money for my upcoming trip for San Diego and uh, PMG. I mean PMC. That, that means Palomorphicon. And work on my and works. <laughs> what the heck works? <laughs> and also work on my Twitch channel in the summertime. Also, the last one I have on here is going to Japan. Because, yeah, that is one of my goals because, well, I love Japan. I want to go to Osaka and uh, Akihabara. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, that's going to be fun. But, yeah, those are yeah those are all my goals. And, uh... So, Boku, how are you working those goals? Well, last night, why I was, why I was out... Uh, I was at I was at a meeting at my workplace and I talk I talked to one of my coworkers and uh 
Me and him had interesting. Me and him had like an interesting discussion and talk about about how uh, Ohio doesn't have anything at the league and uh, it's holding it's holding us back, it's holding me back a lot because I was born and raised here. Yes, I made a lot of friends. Yes, but at the same time, Ohio doesn't have that much for me anymore. I want to take my I want to take my uh, passion and my skills to the next level, and well, that means I want to move out of Ohio when I get a chance. I'm not I'm not gonna move out now. Heck no, it could take some time. I'm look. I will say right now I'm looking at a. Oh boy, I'm looking at a few houses. In San Diego, and no. oh, goddamn, those fuckers are expensive as shit. My God. But hey, uh, at least, but hey, at least I am well trying to find a decent house. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey man, I did say I want to make this. I did say I want to turn my photography job into well. I did say I want to turn my photography into my actual job, and that's going to be a thing. Don't worry, I'm liking my new job. I am a lot, but uh, I won't. Be, well, but I won't. I won't stay there for like five fucking years. Heck no. Nah. I'm not. I'm not gonna be. The, I'm, I'm only there like. Well, I can't say temporarily, cause I. I, I only spent like five years and four years, in fact, in my old job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was scary. But yeah, I want to. I want to turn. I want to turn my photography into my, into my actual job. And and well, with that, I had to. I had to leave. I had to leave the nest. <laughs> I had to leave Ohio. And when, when the day comes when I move out and pack all my stuff from my room, and move and move into my and move start my new life and journey. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Although, it is crazy though that this is hap this is happening now. Uh, everything because San Diego has what I need. They have like a lot of Toku stuff and uh, a lot of like well Asian places. <laughs> That's not racist. Japanese markets. Japanese restaurant because I told I told myself that uh before I go to Japan I want to go to like an Americanized somewhat place like Japan and well California had like a lot of that and I want to practice down there so that's gonna be so that's gonna be helpful for me trust me trust me I uh Trust me, this is a goal that I'm trying to work on right now. <laughs> but yeah, because I have like I have like a lot of friends that live in Cali, and uh, they are destined to meet me. Like, don't get me wrong, I I want to meet them so badly too. Talking to talking to my screen is cool and all, but I want to meet them face to face, you know. And well, I want to change that. <sighs> Yeah, that's going on in my life. Ohio, Ohio was good to me. I was born and raised here, but at the same time, time for me to leave. Time for me to leave the nest eventually. Oh, man. <laughs> Pretty crazy, not gonna lie, but uh, it was fun till it lasted. But now it's time for me to go work on my own goal, my own, my own goals. And well, these are my goals. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, but hey, it is what it, it is. What it is. So yeah, <laughs> ah, fucking hell. <sighs> oh God. <laughs> well, they made for this to open.
Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, uh, let's talk, so, let's talk about figure news. About toy news. Oh, boy. What should I say? Well, <clears throat> if you're trying to collect all the ID cords for uh, Geeks, premium band I just released last night. Oh, boy. Let me... Let me, let me go uh, find it. What the fuck is this shit, dude? Oh, and my Discord just popped up. That's wonderful. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. So, Premium Bandai announcing more ID cords. I know, shocker, right? So, we have... So we have Ben and John's, that's Tom and Michael's, if, if you don't know. We have the lamb, we have the dog, we have the broken sparrow, and we have Chaos Sisters ID core. We have like another dog, we have like a rat and a, is that a beaver? What the fuck is that? I think, I think he's a beaver. And a hedgehog? Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. I honestly don't know what to say. Also, I'm still salty that Ben and John does not have Ben and John don't have rider forms and geats. Just saying. <clears throat> but yeah, not just that. I oh got Bandai. You are ready at the people's wallets. Tamashi announced they are making. Well, they are releasing. Well, the pre-orders are up on Premium Bandai US right now. And uh. They are releasing the SA Figure Arts, Glare, and Punk Jack. Now, here's the thing. I like Punk Jack. I think he's cool. He ain't one of my favorites, but yeah, I think he's cool. And I said, and I said I'm going to buy all the Geech Riders. That's true. I am. <laughs> and, uh, Glare. Oh, boy, Glare. I like the suit. I did, I did enjoy the first user glare. He was cool and menacing. Although, I, I was laughing that, I was laughing because his actor said in the uh, press conference that he's not a common Rider. But meanwhile, a couple episodes later, he become a common Rider. <laughs> Funny. But to be fair, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it, I'm gonna guess his actor didn't know this until, I'm, I'm gonna guess his actor didn't know this until now. I was like, oh! Yeah, by the way, you're a camera. You're a camera now. So here's the script. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Funny. That's some funny humor right there. But yeah, I like it. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. For those who want to know, Roku, where, Roku, what's your next like, review? Well, it's on, it's on a certain, it's on a certain figure. If you follow me on my social medias, I have been playing, I've, I've been playing around the shit out of the Figma Ryuga. Why? Because it's my favorite suit in the whole franchise. Like, no joke, fun fact, it actually is. And uh, I love the suit so much. I bought the fucking CSM deck with it, even though even though I don't have the belt. But apparently, it, apparently, it's rumored that uh, they're re-releasing the belt. Now, if that is true, then oh boy, <laughs> I have a reason to get the belt. I'm hoping that they. I'm hoping that uh they. I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that uh Bandai does. Ben, I does the exact same thing, like what it did with, uh, I think with the five CSM, the decade CSM. You get the belt, you get the belt, you get to buy the belt separately, without like any cards and decks. I'm hoping they do that for, uh, I'm hoping they do that for, uh, for, uh, the Ryuki CSM, because I just want the belt alone, dude. I had the deck, just give me the belt. I just want the belt. That's it. I would go online find a used CSM belt, but uh, there's no, there, there's none. 
The like, closest option is just for me to buy the freaking Super DX one, but, but nah. But nah. But nah. But yeah, though, uh, Bandai, if you, if you're making the belt separately, then that's good, because I only want the belt. That's it. I have my deck, I just want the fucking belt, then I'm good. Because I, cause I have my, cause, well, I paid on like $100 for this fucker. And, uh, I have, and I have everything I need. I have my power, I have my deck right here. I just want the belt, then after that, I'll head change to Ryu, guys, like Onyx. Hell, who know? Who know? I might even cosplay as Sinji. Oh god, I'm not gonna cosplay as Sinji. I would be myself. I will. I would. I would literally wear that belt to Power Morphicon and say Henshin. <laughs> well, although I do have my, I do have the D. I do DS. Yes. What the fuck? I do have the CSM uh, Decker Driver. I have all the cards except for Shinkenja. I have the Ride Booker. I have everything for it. And will they reveal that belt? Probably no, because a lot of people, a lot of people already did reviews on it. Especially my friend, my good friend, uh, Sound Out. He made like, he made like what? I think three multiple videos talking about the CSM Decker Driver. Go, go check them out. It's really good stuff. But yeah, I unfortunately won't be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I will review it on Twitch. <laughs> I will. I do. For real though, I do want to. I am planning on reviewing like, uh, let's say, uh, DX toys. Yeah, yeah. I will be eventually reviewing, let's say, uh, DX toys. To. Uh, on that channel because well if you, if you guys if you guys want to see it happen I will do it and uh without having I will go make a separate YouTube ver YouTube video version of that uh well of that review and uh yeah <laughs> I, I just need I just need to know how to archive uh streams on Twitch and that's gonna be a fun one to find out. But yeah, though, uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's like my, that's what I'm hoping for. So, I have like more videos coming out very really soon. A lot, like, another unboxing video, but I'm just waiting for a certain something to arrive soon in Discord. So it's blowing up, hold on. Sorry about that. But anyway, anyway yeah, back up saying is uh this. I do have I have like a lot of videos coming out. I have the Yuga video to make. I have like I have like multiple reviews to review. I have Alpha, Metal Cluster Hoppers, Vegeta's Fuck. I have like more figures on the way. And trust me, I will review all of them. Right after you guys, I'm probably, I'm probably going to review uh, Metal Cluster. Him or him or someone else. But yeah, I, I am I am working on all the reviews, guys. Not worry. I did I did upload like a couple of days ago part of those reviews. And uh, well, I gave my two cents on how good the figure is. He's not perfect, but he's really good. But yeah, go check that video out. It's, it's really good. Why have a hard count for this? What the fuck? <clears throat> but yeah. I have plans on a lot of other videos. <laughs> let's see. I got. Let's see. I got like a nerve. I got like a nerve Figma coming in from. Well, I bought. Well, I bought this one off eBay, brand new. I have two. I have two. Light, I have like two lightning collection figures arriving soon, and I'm. I'm actually nervous about these two. And I have like. I guarantee, very soon, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get like a. A. 
email saying, hey, your bellhopper had been shipped. I'm like, oh, yay, I can't wait to have Black Sun's bike and his logo. And a glow in the dark and a glow up hell well in a glow up and a glow up head. But say helmet, but no head. <laughs> oh, that could be fun. And yes, I will be reviewing that that bike. <laughs> Cause funny enough, like this is no joke. This is that's actually my first uh comrade figure art bike I have. I did not bought bills or ZLs or doubles or decades. I don't have any one. This is the first one. Crazy. I know, right? No other ride show did it. I want bills, but at the same time, I'm not in a hurry to get that. I had to get Black Sun because, well, I love the show. Leave me alone. I'm just waiting for another release. I always kaiju form. Then uh, I have my big fucking trio. You know you, know you want to do it. Come on. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Come on, Tomashi. Just release it. You saw my video of me talking to you guys. Just release the figure. After that, I will be settled and be satisfied. Then I will have my big fucking three in my collection. Come on, you cowards. Do it. Oh, I'm not going to do it? Damn, that sucks. I thought they, I thought they were actually going to do it. Oh, well. Kona, Namuna. Why was speaking Japanese there? I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Oh well, that's just Dan Tomashi. You really could have been cooking right now if you did that. Just saying, and I will have been the no one person who will bother f from uh, from you guys. Just put a premium band at US, and uh, well, after that, I would have done. It. Yeah, fuck. I still need I still need to go pre order the severe cultural numbers co when I get the chance. Ay ay ay. Ink metal cooler damn it. Why figure arts I need to go pre order? That sucks. Well, I'll get metal cool off Tokyo Lectables. Because Dragon Ball figures take a while for them to get well ship to get the shipment to premium banner US. But yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of Premier Bandai, next month, Buffalo's coming out. Oh boy. Now, fortunately, I won't get, I don't have, I didn't buy the Japanese release for Buffa. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. I bought the US, I pre-ordered the US release off Premier Bandai US. Same for Nago. So, I will be, I will be getting Buffa next month. I'll be getting him in July. Just want to make that clear. I will I will be getting him in July, so so yay for that. <laughs> yay! Can't wait to have Buffa, even though I don't care for that character, not like one bit. He isn't bad at anything. The late episode show sold off a good side of him, but at the same time, he just doesn't do much for me. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know, dude. The last purple, the last like evil purple rider that I enjoyed was Hirobi. Mostly because mostly because how villainous he was. But at the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of Zero One. <laughs> Listen, I I don't hate Zero One as many others, but it's definitely not a. I would call I wouldn't call Zero One a ten out of ten. It's not. If I if I had to rate zero one, probably a six, because the second half was, well, rushed due to COVID. But at the same time, the writing that show did was wasn't the best. For for personal reason, I think we both know what. So, yeah. But anyway, move, but anyway, moving alongside from that, yeah, moving alongside from that, moving alongside from that, yeah, the last, the last like purple rider, purple comrade I enjoy was Hirobi. I would say Ojo, but at the same time, me watching Ryuki, and uh, I'm enjoying Ojo in that show. Although it was sad, finally seeing Ojo beat the shit. 
and being the crap out of Buffa and the Geats and Weavis movie. Motherfucker literally said, "Okay, okay, who's gonna okay who's gonna entertain me by fighting me?" Buffa comes and says, "Hey, that's my line." Ugh! But but Buffa got Buffa got beaten. He hesitated. He he hesitated and uh. Oja, Oja basically used his advent, advent on him. So, he, motherfucker, basically just said that. Oh, you took too long. You hesitated. Advento, and bam, the giant purple snake came out of nowhere and, and well, made Buffer retired. Ah, yeah, yeah. It was funny. It was funny, but uh, it was a good. It was a good part of the movie. I actually like the movie a lot, funny though. Know. Crazy, no, right? I don't want. Here's the thing. Here's why. I I might be in a small minority, but uh, I actually like the post revised content more than the actual show. The Alpha Million was hot garbage. Just gonna be completely honest about that one. Saber in the revised movie was pretty boring. The Demon and Evil slash Live V Cinema wasn't bad, but it could have been better. And Geets and Revice was fan service because of Ryuki, but at the same time, it was an enjoyable movie with, with the writing that Takahashi did for Iki and Vice. And, uh, shit, Iki, Iki treated Vice like a, well, a brother, even though, like, their bond was, their, their bond was something Revice. Again, I'm not the biggest Revice fan, but, but, uh, there was, but uh, there are moments in the show that, that talk about how Vice's character is not all this jokey, 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 jokey character. No, he has moments when, uh, he cares for Iki, his family, and protects them. Even though, even though, even though it's in the same moment, he ruined it by being annoying. But still, I say in my podcast review for Revice, I say here, I prefer Vice be more serious instead of being more jokey, jokey. But that's just me. The best way for me to describe it is like, okay, Momotaro, perfect example. I don't like Deno, but Momotaro was like one of the exceptions for me watching that show. He carried the show for me. And uh he cared for Yotaro. Just like just like just like all that I imagine. But him and Yotaro had a special bond since well Momotaro was taking the first imagine Yotaro possessed it pos- possess. And uh, he cared for Yotaro. He did. He did. He cared for him. And that's the same vibe you can kind of say that Revice was giving off for Iki and Vice, if that is possible. So yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, yeah, it wasn't lying. It wasn't lying when I say that 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 movie was fan service. It was. It was. Trust me, it was. Because. Who the heck thought about playing my boy with you guys in this? They, they, they thought, hey, you know what? <clears throat> There's this one guy. There's this black Tokyo fan living in Ohio. His name's Bokusatsu. So let's, so let's make this movie fan service as possible. By adding with you guys in there. Yeah, when I saw that, when I saw the poster, I lost my shit deal. Like, <gasps> with you guys. Yes, 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 my boy, let's fucking go, cause dude, the last time I saw Ryuga and Kamen Rider, was in the fucking Rider Time special from 2019, and that was a long fucking time, that was like what, four years ago, actually, yeah, that was four years ago, holy crap, oh man, I love this suit though. And it's, and it's the fact that every time I see this suit now, I get more happy. Also, I had the again, I had the Ryuga deck in front of me. One of those funny about this deck, I bring I bring this everywhere I go from now on because it reminds it, it reminds me how much it reminds me how much of a comrade I am. 
people have their suits. People have their suits, their favorite suits, and have that reason why they want to become rival. For mine, it's this: if someone is in trouble and uh, they need help, if they need a helping hand, I see what they did there. I will be there. But Kamen Rider is not all about these fancy, fancy power ups. These Kamen not Kamen is not all about these fancy toys and power ups and all that. No, sometimes. But you get what I'm trying to say. Kamen is basically Kamen is basically talking about basically talking about helping others through the darkest time and and put a big, great like smile on their faces. That's what. That's what, that's what Ichigo. That's what Ichigo been preaching through all, through like every crossover movie. That, that's that's what Kamen Rider is all about, helping others, just like the same way you want to be helped. And uh, I like that. And I I like that. That's why I like. That's why I like. That's why I love Kruger, because that's what Kruger's all about. A man, a man who, a man who want to be a helping hand for others. Also, get a big, great smile on their face while doing a thumbs up. That's why, that's what I love about Kruger. <laughs> uh, I love that show. Kruger's, Kruger's awesome. Kruger's just so good. <laughs> Kruger's in my top five for a reason. Yay, boy. Ah, uh, excuse me. But yeah. But yeah, Kruger's Kruger's in my top five for a reason. That's uh and that's how it is. Good show. Good writing. A coward was cooking. Same for No Way when he's not writing like for a fucking loved show. Like god damn it, no way. I'm not I'm not done rewatching Fives and that show's born hell. Trust me, I will make a five special episode talking about talking about talking about how much I dislike that show. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's funny though, I'm rewatching with Yuki at the same time, and I'm having a more fun time rewatching with Yuki than Fives. And this to come for someone. This is, this is come for someone who used to hate Yuki. No joke. It used to be it used to be my it used to be my least favorite comedy show of all time. Not anymore. But it used to be. So, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. That's just how... That's just how it is. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... My, ch my update for my channel. Okay. So, let's talk about this, shall we? Buku, what is going on with your channel right now? I haven't seen a new video in a while. That's why I... I just uploaded like last week, my, a couple well, a couple of days ago. In fact, my Potato review, you know that video's doing pretty good, and I love the feedback I'm getting back from it. So this channel, so this channel's gonna go through like a weird, weird transition. I'll say in summertime, because around uh September, uh. I won't be uploading for five days, but don't worry. I'm gonna make a few videos. I'm gonna make like a couple of videos to I'm gonna upload, and I'm gonna I'm going to uh, release those around before I leave because I'll be out of town again. I'm going to San Diego for family reasons. I'm not gonna say why, and uh, I will be out for I'll be out of town for five days. So because of that. Before that happens, I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make like a couple of videos to upload upload for you guys to watch and enjoy. And uh, when I come back from my trip, I will I will make a I will release like well, more videos, <laughs> more videos for you guys to enjoy. So yeah. Also at the same time, I will be uh at the same time again summertime. I will be streaming on Twitch. So. My Twitch account is twitch.tv uh, slash bokusatch Twitch twitch.tv slash bokusatch15. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to go well, to go guys, so for you guys to go well, subscribe to it. 
because your boy, because your boy is really trying to, well, because I really do want to, I really do want to live stream more in the future and talk to you guys, my viewers, about like, well, anything. Toku, non Toku, what you guys did purchase it, what you guys like purchase on toys and after figures, in house live streams for you guys. But yeah, and also, you can, guys, you, you also, you can, guys can ask, you guys can ask me like, any questions you want, and I will talk about it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. But uh, what else? Oh yeah, Geets. This new episode was pretty good. <laughs> it. I will say this: this new episode, this new, this new episode, Geets was really good. Sarah, Neon, and Tycoon. Well, Kawa. In my humble opinion, is probably it's probably the best trio in the shows in, in the show right next to Ace, Kwa, and Neon. Because you got the first trio, you got the first and secondary, and the tertiary. And now for the new trio, you got the secondary, the tertiary, and the extra. Well, I like it. I like it. And I really do like I really do like the relationship between uh Nia and uh Sarah. Although I will say the last episode was funny for one moment when she got mad at Kawa for lying about for lying <laughs> for lying say, wait a minute. Nissan, wait, N wait, Nichan. Wait, wait a minute, K-Rod, you became a, when did you become a writer? Oh, uh, you see, you, you see, your brother, your brother was, your brother was a writer for a very long time. He was in the shadow of being, well, a fucking ninja, cause that's basically what his suit is. And, uh, he was, he was, he was, he was protecting you the whole time. And, uh, then Ace came in to say you guys, say that how much you guys bonded over Sopa. And god damn it, he's not wrong. You fucking did bond it over Sopa. It's the funniest shit ever. Oh, yeah, we bonded over Sopa. Jeez, I wonder why Sopa at all places. Probably. Probably because you, probably because you know that's fucking true. Oh yeah, we all bonded over Sopa. They did. They fucking did. They fucking did. It was the funniest shit ever. They bonded over they bonded over fucking Sopa noodles. All three of them. It was the funniest shit ever. It was the funniest shit ever. It was the funniest shit ever. God damn it, I love this show. Fuck. He's definitely in my top ten for sure because the show's almost the show's almost over. Fuck, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying every second of it, <laughs> except for one episode. But uh, that 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 one episode wasn't the best. But luckily, King Oja made up for it. So yay for that. And it's funny though because that same episode. Because it's funny though how uh Buffer got her. It's funny how your Buffer eliminated every rider from the Zyre Grand Prix. It's one of the same episode when uh when Gia, well. Well, Gia, but well, yeah, yeah, Gia was, when Gia was, well, beefing, with, well, also fighting with his brother, Raculous. And yet, that episode, that, that, that episode was way better than the Geese episode, with, with Buffer eliminating every rider. I found, I found that episode pretty lackluster and not that good, in my opinion. I don't know, dude. I just it just it just wasn't it just it just wasn't good in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, but overall, but overall, besides that, it was pretty good. It could be better, but at the same time, it wasn't the worst. But yeah, K anyway, King Oja time. <laughs> King Oja time. Oh boy, King Oja time. Oh boy, King Oja time. Well, our new ranger is a fascinating fellow. 
he's he's half human, but also he's half well not human. I'll say, and my God, that's a crossbreed love right there. And a damn, that's just. Damn, that's just mess up. That's some love story right there. Our six ranger is a is a half breed. He's half human and half not human. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say what the other half he is because that's spoiler. But just trust me, he's half human. He's not half human. And damn, that's a that's a cross breed right there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh but yeah, that's uh that's uh, yeah, that happened. But moving on aside for that, his his mystery he's a he's a mystery for what I can say. And like the last time a six ranger appeared like very early in the show, I think one like what? I think episode fifteen or twelve was talking Michi and Kira Major and uh Zox in episode of, like what? I think twelve? Not go Kaiju, no, fuck that show. Uh Zen Kaiger. And that was like a long time ago. Holy crap. It's pretty crazy that uh Ray Rob been killing it for a six ranger. Wow <laughs> except for the I wanna say this, I'm getting tired of the I'm getting tired of the silver and gold concept for six and thank God King Ultra doesn't have that. Because our six ranger is a white ranger. So let's take it like seven. So 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 let's take it like seven Rangers and King Ogre. And yes, I say seven. Raculous isn't a six. He's an extra Ranger. So he's basically so. Raculous is basically like Decamaster, Shinken Red, Ryu and Mil from Geki Ranger, since those two are also extra Ranger. Uh, single, si single man, single man from, uh, well, Car Ranger. Zaban from, uh, Bo Kinja, even though, Bo even though that, 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 that fucking, that fucker has a Ranger key. Don't know why, but he does. And, uh, yeah, that's it. He's an extra ranger. He's not a six, so calm down. But yeah, over. But yeah, overall, he's a uh, overall. Our six ranger interesting. I will say his actor game. His actor giving me PTSD vibes for a dumb, not a dumb reason. I actually hate this fucking reason. I blame my friends Dorman and Harmony. If they're watching this, I blame you two for this bullshit. For those that don't know, his actor played a, a weird character, I'll say, in the J drama that came out this year called Akiko Rinko. And his character, he played, the actor's character he played, well, let's just say he tries to get the saber in his hand all right by giving it to May's character, but May's character wasn't having it. And that's the best way for me to describe it. And thank God I'm not going to say how. Because fuck. It's just so. It's just so weird, dude. It's just so fucking weird. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway. Anyway. Moving alongside from that. He was his his sword fighting in the show was pretty fascinating. 
His change is really cool too, and I like his. Uh, and I like his. I like his uh, henshin as well. It's totally different from the "You are the king, you are the king, oh Jack." I like his jingo though as well, and uh, it's really good stuff. I like how his weapon. Well, of course, of course, it's spider related. I like how his. I like how his weapon when he said "Ogami Soul," "Ogami Soul." His, his face, his weapon, look like a fucking spider when he opens it. And that's really cool. Ah, oh, man, that's so cool. I'm not gonna lie. He has a cool suit, too. The black and white. Oh, my God. The last time, we had, like, a, the last time I had, like, a white ranger for a six was Tetsu from Decker Ranger. And no, Ken did not count from Geki Ranger because Ken not a six. So, moving on. But yeah, black and white always works so good. One of my, one of my few of uh, one of my few my favorite color schemes is black mixed with white because a Power Ranger suit slash Sentai or Kamurai have any Toku suit with black and white in there is a perfect combination. You can't lie to me, dude. You can't lie to me. It's it's a perfect combination. It's just so fucking good. For, it's just so fucking good with that group, with that color scheme. Black and white works so good. I'm probably a sucker for it because black my favorite. Black my favorite color, but at, but I like the color white in there, and you get a good combination. You get a good combination, and that's why I like about it. You get a, a you get you get a good combination for it, and that's so fucking good. Ugh. So I want to say this. Uh, I'm back on Twitter now. Wait, what? Boku, you left for two weeks. What happened? I had to reflect on my. I had to reflect. I had to reflect on a few things that I did on Twitter. You know, well, I had to leave, and now I'm back, and I learned. I learned my lesson. Taking my two weeks off Twitter helped me. Taking my two weeks off Twitter helped me realize what a lot of my a lot of things that I did wrong on there. You know, it helped me as well. I was being very toxic and negative and annoying to people, and I well I want to change that. So I so I decided to uh, do is I decided to do is just take a break from that and mostly focus on uh, myself. I'll still talk. Listen, I said. Listen, I said. I said. Well, if you want to talk to me, my my what? Well, well, before I, when I when I took my two weeks off, I told my friends that they could still talk to me on Instagram or my Discord DMs because those are open. But uh, yeah, now yeah, I'm, I'm back on Twitter now, and uh, that's great. And uh, well, that's well that. That, that's gonna help me because I need to take a little break because there, there are things I want to reflect on that I did. And, uh, here we are now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm black. Black. Well, I am black. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm back. I'm stronger than ever. And I am going to, well, focus on, well, my future. The boy has, like, a lot of goals he want to work on. And, uh, well, if we got his help, we can do that. I saw this podcast episode not like super long or anything. No, I just it it probably, it's probably gonna be short because of well because well it's like almost one in the morning. One not one morning. It's almost one in the afternoon and uh I f- I'm filming this I'm, and I'm filming this around like twelve. It's like twelve fifty four p PM right now. Well but yeah, it's twelve fifty four in the afternoon, and uh, it's almost one for me. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description. I'm sorry this podcast episode was short. I promise that the next one will be super long. And uh, yeah, guys, follow my social media description. Put the post the post the notification button on for my next video. And uh, yeah, again. 
follow my Twitch channel description. I will be streaming like very soon, probably next month when the summertime begins. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. My name's Boku, and uh, <laughs> my name's Boku, and I'm out. Have a nice day. Peace.